What's up guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm back with my fourth episode of Trade to Glory from 0 to 10 mil. As you can see, we're over 100k in the series now. We broke the 100k mark, and this is how we did it with the players from the SBCs. And this is what they sold for. This is all those, and all the consumables from the last episode. So yeah, we get rid of them. This is what we still got in the trade pile now. We still got a few squad fitnesses which we're trying to get rid of rid of for about 1500 coins which you can get rid of we sold a few already i'm sure we just relist them now the next thing we're doing straight off is squad builder challenges we're going uh, not squad builder challenges uh, squad fitnesses sorry we're going straight into squad fitnesses and i want to talk about squad fitnesses very shortly and why they're so good while we're getting these squad fitnesses is the two reasons i love squad fitnesses one as you've seen just now has already sold some you can sell a squad fitness for double what a squad fitness is worth at any time because people just buy them so I've just sold one for 1500 coins if I had a trade pile full of squad fitnesses say I had 100 I'd probably sell between 5 and 10 for 1500 coins a go even though you can bin them for 750 so squad fitnesses are always brilliant in that respect as one as they can always be sold for double as you see here I'm stocking up and I'm getting as much as I possibly can and the second reason I love squad fitnesses is because they can be done alongside any other trade trading method you can buy as much as you want stick them in your club they don't affect other trading methods so that's why we'll be using squad fitnesses a lot because we can stock them in our club we could just use five spots on the trade pile to sell all of them they're, they're a brilliant they're a brilliant investment because they, they always go up like weekend league they'll, they'll go up five six hundred coins you can sell them even if they don't go up for five six hundred coins more and they don't get in the way of other trading methods so as you can see i bought loads here i'm showing you a bit of the struggle of getting them as well uh, going to the 59th minute. A little bit of the struggle. I, it's a bad time to drop this video in respect to the squad builder, uh, squad fitness cards because we're right bang in the middle of the weekend league now. This is Saturday. So that's a bit of an issue. But I wanted to drop it now because I want to mention the upcoming thing that we're going to be doing, which is going to be our first investment method for the marquee matchups, which is hopefully going to drop next week, which is going to be Manchester United versus Liverpool. So as you can see here, we're still smashing the squad fitness cards at the moment, trying to get as much as possible. If you go to the 59th minute, uh, usually you can bin them for around 700. I go then check out the silvers as well. Don't go for the bronzes because sometimes they won't even f give the whole team of fitness. If someone's playing two games, then using a squad fitness, so let's go for the silver, go for the gold. See, I got 30 there in one go, and after that, I did some bronze pack methods. So I, I open, like bronze pack methods, are always something you can visit. Whenever you feel you've got a bit of a gap in time without a trade pile, uh, without anything on your trade pile, any trade method going on, it's good for just building your club, filling your club, and also making a little bit of coins along the way. You get the old squad fitness, your fitness card, the odd um, injury card, and all that. So it's it's a good one as well. Always look look out for the Turkish and the uh, Mexican league players. But I didn't do it for long because I I started doing it. I did fill my um, trade pile up. I did list them a few times. I sold about forty items over those few times which I'm sure I'll show you in a minute now. But I decided then, okay, that's that. With that, I've, I want to get into my first method. Just showing you what I've got in the club here real fast. I've got 99 fitness cards. Uh, was it about 10, 11 gold? Uh, sorry, silver ones there as well. And players-wise, I've got just two play pages of players, half silver, half bronze, and nothing else really. A few untradeables at the end. And that is it for the club for now. But this is the, this is the exciting part now. This is going to be the first trading method coming up which is going to be on United and Liverpool players going for as high rated as possible as you can see these are the bronze cards that sold um, we sold like I said about 40 bronze cards over two hours I then put the rest of those bronze cards in my club I didn't I didn't quick sell them I put them in my club we can use them in SBCs we can use them in uh, we can then use them to sell again sorry when we have a gap in the market they might go up they, they probably some will go up no doubt so these are the players we're going to trade with anyway. We've gone for Daily Blind, Carrick, Damian, Mignolet, Milner and Lovren. I've gone for these players because they're all 80 rated so I'm trying to get as high as possible for as cheap as possible. I've gone with some because they're English, Carrick and Milner. I've gone for Mignolet in goal because he's the highest rated with Lovren. That's why Lovren's in there as well. And Damian just looks like an appealing player so I've chucked him in there. Same goes with Blind really. Full backs are always decent. Um, so yeah, basically this is what I managed to get. I managed to get 34 of these players. So far, the, the the market just kept kicking me out, kept banning me. 
I would have liked to have more. You can see what I bought them all for here. They're all around minimum. I will be investing the rest of my coins in them. I suggest you guys get on that too because now's the time. This is our first investment. Liverpool United players, get them around 80s to 81s. Get them as cheap as possible. Let's chuck our coins into them so that we can go on to the market matchups next week and sell them on for hopefully a few K more and start hitting, getting close to that 500k mark. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching and take it.